Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Try to find the spot in the body where the breath is most comfortable and focus your attention there. We meditate for the sake of a sense of well-being, but it's not like you start out with nothing. There has to be some spot in the body that's comfortable right now. If nothing were comfortable, you would die. So whatever seems most comfortable, focus your attention there and then protect that point. Think of it as starting a fire in a windy place. You have to protect the little flame as you're getting it started. Make sure the winds don't come in and blow it out. In other words, thoughts may come through the mind, but don't let them blow out your concentration. The thoughts may be there, but the breath is still there too. The thoughts don't destroy the breath. It's just that you've, if you go with them, you've dropped your focus and moved on to something else. So try to maintain your focus in spite of the wind. Hover around that spot and gradually begin to grow. Then notice that there are other spots in the body where there's a similar sense of well-being. And think of them connecting. You're building on what you've got. You've got to learn how to find your strengths and build on your strengths. It's in that way that the well-being of the concentration grows, because the mind needs well-being if it's going to gain true insight. You read about some meditation methods where they put you through hell, and then you have a neurotic breakthrough. Something happens, something snaps inside. And the teachers will tell you, ah, oh, that's an insight. But just because you're strung out and then suddenly we're no longer strung out doesn't mean that it was a genuine insight. It's just your mind's way of coping with a difficult situation. The real insights come when the mind isn't balanced with a sense of well-being. It begins to see where it causes self-suffering, and even slightest, even the slightest types of stress become a lot clearer when the mind has a sense of balance and well-being. So to get that sense of what really counts as stress and what doesn't count as stress, you want to develop as much well-being inside as you can. And fortunately you can do that with the breath. Of all the elements in the body, the breath is the one that's most responsive to the mind. And so you adjust that first. And then as that gets good, then the sense of well-being begins to spread around. You can settle more and more solidly into the present moment, to the point where whatever the winds that may be blowing, the fire is not going to go out. It's well established. So as long as you have to maintain a small flame, well, be very protective of it. Because it's from little things like this that big things will grow. This is a principle all over the world and all over all over the Dharma. And it's from little acts of generosity, the times you take the precepts. In the beginning they may be sporadic, but over time they begin to connect. And as they connect they gain energy and they gain strength. So look for the good things you've got inside already and nurture them. That's how bigger good things will grow.